Hey everybody, so if you clicked on this video, you were curious about my everyday uh, foundation and face routine. I didn't want to include it in every single makeup tutorial, um, but as I introduced new products into my routine, I'll make sure that I update my everyday face routine so you'll always know what products that I'm using and what products I have moved on from. So I am starting with a clean face, and for a primer, I'm going to be using this Kat Von D's Lock It Weight Featherweight Primer. I put about two to three pumps on my hand and then I just start working it into my skin. I'm going to take whatever is left and drag it down to my neck since I like to bring my foundation down as well. For a foundation, I'm using my Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo Foundation in the color Light 46. I like to put about a pump and a half on the back of my hand, and then taking my finger, I'm just going to start dotting it on my skin first before I blend it out. Don't forget to bring it down to the neck as well. Then taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to start blending this all out. Make sure that you blend the neck as well. That's really important. Once my foundation is on and blended, I like to go in with concealer, and I don't normally use concealer to cover up any dark spots. Um, I have a little bit of redness underneath my eyes and a little bit of darkness, so I'll put some under my eyes, but the rest of the concealer goes on the high points of my face. So the concealer that I'm using is from Maybelline. It's, it's the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So it just twists up into a little sponge. And I'm going to first apply it underneath my eyes. I like to start at this corner and just kind of sweep it under my eye. Bring it up close to my temple. And we're just highlighting this whole top portion of my cheekbone. So same thing underneath the other eye. Just starting from one corner and sweeping it out. Then I'm going to put a center dot on my forehead and I'm also going to bring it down on my nose and a little bit above my eyebrows down the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on my chin and then we're going to blend that out as well using my beauty blender Next, I like to use this Fit Me Foundation. This is a too dark for my skin tone. It's in the color 330 Toffee. Um, but I like to use this as kind of a guideline for contour. So we'll be going back in with powder contour. But what I'm going to do with this product is, because it's in a stick, it's very easy to use. I'm just going to drag it, oops, <laughs> drag it on the areas that I would normally contour. So here, on the other cheek as well then because my forehead isn't big um, I like to just keep the concealer very close to my hairline so I'm just going around my hairline down onto my temple and then I'm connecting it again to that cheekbone contour we just placed down same thing on the other side I also like to take this product just a little bit on the bridge of my nose because I have a crooked nose so this is just gonna help Excuse me. This is going to help straighten out my nose. And I'm also going to bring it just around my jawline and on the back of my jawline as well. But make sure if you do that, make sure you blend it out. That's really important. So I'm going to put this away for now. 
And then taking my beauty blender again, I'm just going to blend that out. Point, if you blended it all out and you feel like you need a little bit more I think I'm okay because I know I'm gonna go back in with the powder but if it's not dark enough for you I just tend to be a very pale person um, you can go back in with more but I would highly recommend starting with a little bit and blending it out putting some more back on blending it out and build it up until you're comfortable instead of starting with a ton and then having too much going on so next I'm going to set my concealer my favorite translucent powder I've been using forever is from Airspun. You can get this any drugstore really. It's really inexpensive. But I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder and I just like to use the end of my beauty blender once I know all my blending is done. And I'm going to just dip the tip of it into the powder and I am going to press it I like to concentrate on underneath my eye because um, what I learned is not only is this con uh, setting my concealer, but I found that if I don't do this step, my mascara tends to run and then I have dark spots underneath my eyes from where the mascara is rubbing off. So I find that this not only sets my concealer, but also prevents my under eye, like the mascara on my lower lashes to not run. So if you're having that problem, I would give this a try even if you're not a fan of setting powder. But I tend to put on just a little bit more than I would normally wear because we're going to wipe this off after. So I put on underneath my eyes. I'm going to put a little bit on the center of my forehead, pretty much anywhere where we had put that original uh, concealer. So on my forehead, then a little bit on my chin. All right, next we are moving on to brows. I don't ever show me doing my brows on camera just because it's always really tedious, but because this is a separate video from my makeup tutorials, I will show you. So what I'm going to do is take a spoolie first, which is just, it's basically a clean mascara wand on a brush. And I go ahead and brush up my brows first so I can kind of see the line that's forming underneath. So just very lightly brush them up. Make sure your brows are groomed, that the hairs are not too long. That will definitely help with shaping your brows. And then I'm going to take an angled brush. I only use this brush for my brows. It's very small and angled. It works a lot, uh, works really well. And for my brows, I like to use this Too Faced Brow Envy Kit. And they have a blonde and a brunette shade. I always use the brunette shade. So I'm just going to dip my brush in a little bit of this powder. And the first thing that I do with filling in my brows is I start underneath the eyebrow and I just start lining it but with short, small strokes. I feel like this makes it look a bit more natural instead of you just like doing it all one swift motion. So just take a little product at a time. Just short, small strokes is all you need. And I'm just going to line my eyebrow. So where my eyebrow ends, I'm just lining that area, kind of filling it in just a little bit. And the same thing with the tail. Just line the bottom of it a little too far with that next well actually let me go ahead and do do the other eyebrow as well all right once my eyebrows are lined underneath then i take a little bit more powder and i start filling it in starting at the arch so again just short small strokes and I'm just filling in just where it arches. Once that's filled in, I'm going to drag it down, start filling in the tail, and then just start working my way in with short, small strokes. And I stop about here. I don't fill that in just yet. I want to make sure that this whole area is filled in and shaped out nicely. 
Some people even line the top of their eyebrows. I feel that's a bit unnatural, but if you can get away with it, um, give it a try. It's all about your eye, eyebrow shape and your preference. Now we're gonna fill in this part. So I do it a little bit differently. Instead of going horizontal, we're gonna go vertical. So we're still doing very short, quick strokes, but now we're going vertical. And this is gonna give the appearance of little hairs. So it's gonna look a bit more natural instead of if you just blocked it off. So just picking up a little bit of product and I'm going to do short strokes until I'm satisfied with how it looks. Okay, so just look at this eyebrow compared to this eyebrow. So now I'm gonna fill in this one really quick. All right, both my eyebrows are now filled in. So that is what you don't normally see on my um, makeup tutorials. I usually do that like no eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> um, so then I go ahead and I set my eyebrows using a brow gel because I tend to have really naturally thick and long haired eyebrows anyways. So I like to set them to stay in place and I'm just using Rimmel London's brow this way. It's a great brow gel and it's a drugstore product. So you don't have to break your neck trying to get a good brow gel. So again, it's like a spoolie and I'm just brushing the product through the hairs and then just shaping it a little bit. And same thing on the other eyebrows and this is gonna make your eyebrows stay in place all day without making them look crusty, which is the best. <laughs> All right, next we're going back into contouring. So first I'm just going to take any clean brush and just wipe away that translucent powder that we had on our face earlier, just so I can get a better idea of what my face actually looks like. Just brush it away lightly. And for contouring, I always use this Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I absolutely love it. And I always tend to go for the medium cocoa shade. So I'm just going to take a angled brush. This is my favorite contour brush. Um, I think it's a um, Sonia Kashuk brush I got from Target. So I don't spend a lot on my brushes either. But I'm just going to swirl the brush into this product and tap it off. You don't need a lot of powder. <laughs> Again, you can build it up if you want, but start off with a little. Then I like to hold the brush at the end so it's not so like, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'm not so heavy handed with it. So if you hold it near the end, it's just gonna be light and you're just gonna very lightly sweep it back and forth where you had originally placed that cream contour. So we're going underneath the cheekbones. If you need help, I've done this for so long, but if you need help, just suck it in and that's where you wanna contour at least for your cheeks. So I'm just very, very, very lightly with a very light hand, just going back and forth. It might look a little bit harsh for you guys, but there's a light right here also creating its own natural shadow. So in person, it's much more natural than it might be appearing on camera. So just keep that in mind. So that, this is the before and this is the after. So we're just very, again, very, very lightly just going back and forth. Now you don't wanna come in all the way over here. You really just wanna stay about halfway into your cheek. Just back and forth. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that product, tap it off, and again, go around my hairline and down to my temple. Just blend it back and forth. Again, a very, very light hand. Add more product if you need be as you go but always start with a little bit, just back and forth. And then again on my jaw. And I don't typically go over my nose with powder because then I feel like it, it gets a little too much, at least for me. But with my jawline, because it's so square, I like to just soften it up a little bit with some powder. Then I'm going to take this large fan brush and they have a light cocoa highlighting shade. They have a shimmery shade and a matte shade, but I'm just gonna use the mattified shade. Take a little bit on my fan brush and I'm just going to sweep this, concentrating on my cheekbones, just to give it a little bit of a natural highlight. You can absolutely opt out, depending on your um, <clears throat> makeup for that day, you can opt out for a much more glittery highlighter, a much more shimmery highlight. Um, but I'm for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep it natural. 
it's just a little bit on the center of my forehead a little bit on my chin and because I did contour the sides of my nose just a tiny bit down the bridge of my nose and that's all I do for contouring so because my face is so mattified and contoured I want to add a little bit of color back into the look and to do so I'm going to use this um, <clears throat> Milani brush blush I'm obsessed with these they're probably about nine bucks at a drugstore I found mine at CVS um, but I absolutely love them and the color that I've been going to oh my goodness <laughs> excuse me the color that I've been going to all winter and all fall is number one romantic rose so I'm just going to take a large powder brush the only thing I don't like about this blush is it kind of smells like it has a weird smell I'm gonna take a little bit of this product and just sweep it, concentrate it on my cheekbones, but then I'm going to very lightly drag the color back as well. So this is just going to add a very, very subtle color to my face. Hi, baby. She had absolutely perfect timing because we just finished my everyday <laughs> face routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed. What do you want to play with, Bubble? I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you refer to this from another video. Oh! Yeah? I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys. Oh, don't put on makeup, girl. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Say bye-bye! Don't eat it! <laughs>